Half the people alive today nearly 4 billion humans are only here because of one man's invention. That same man created chemical warfare. Born December 9, 1868, Fritz Haber was a German chemist obsessed with a crisis, the world was running out of fertilizer. Plants need nitrogen. But nitrogen in the air is locked up two atoms bonded so tightly that plants can't use it. Without fertilizer, crops fail. Without crops, people starve? By 1900, scientists predicted mass famine within decades. Haber solved it. In 1909, he figured out how to break nitrogen apart and combine it with hydrogen creating ammonia. Artificial Fertilizer The Haber-Bosch process revolutionized agriculture. Suddenly, you could grow food anywhere, in massive quantities. It's estimated that half the world's population today eats food grown with synthetic fertilizer from his process. He saved billions from starvation. Then came World War I. Haber took his chemistry skills and weaponized them. He led Germany's chemical warfare program chlorine gas, mustard gas. He personally supervised the first gas attack at Ypres in 1915. His wife, Clara also a chemist begged him to stop. He refused. In 1915, she took his service pistol and shot herself in their garden. Haber won the Nobel Prize in 1918 for ammonia synthesis. The ceremony was controversial some scientists boycotted, calling him a war criminal. Then in 1933, the Nazis came to power. Haber was Jewish. Despite his service to Germany, he was forced to flee. He died in exile in 1934, broken. So what is Fritz Haber? Hero who fed billions. Or monster who weaponized science. The uncomfortable truth, he's both. His chemistry feeds you. His chemistry also pioneered weapons that killed millions across two world wars. Science isn't good or evil. But how we use it. That's on us. Follow it on this day in science for the complicated truths behind scientific progress.